Hello everyone, my name is Leland Oakland, and in today's video, um, this is going to be a different video than what we normally uh, do. Um, this will not be a part of the daily discussion. As a matter of fact, I am writing a book titled The Golden Rule, and this is the first chapter that I've written. The chapter, the first chapter is Say Please and Thank You. Basically, I go over the importance of saying please and thank you, and how little most people think it is, but how big it actually is. So if you're interested in um, listening to what I've written, feel free to stay. Um, even if you're not interested, I would like for you to give it a chance, listen to what I have to say, and hopefully you'll find it entertaining and you'll find it informative and it'll motivate you to want to start using the term please and thank you. So we're going to go ahead and start. Displaying kindness and respect is the basic rule of being a human being. Saying please and thank you is a custom that is taught to most individuals at a young age. As children are born and their parents begin influencing the language in which the child will commonly be speaking, usually the first words are mama and dad dad. Not long after teaching the child what to call their parents, most of the time, the phrase being taught is please and thank you. The reason for this is to simply instill basic human courtesy along with respect at an early age. By doing this so early on, the child is much more likely to continue these traits while advancing to their adolescent years and into their adult years respectively. In the United States, early educational programs such as preschool along with kindergarten tend to focus on the mannerisms of children. It's pressure to learn these traits at a young age as it is oftentimes referred to as being proper. On many occasions as we grow older, we tend to forget the basic principles of being a human being, such as saying please when asking for something or saying thank you as a response to having obtained assistance in some form of another. Is it considered wrong to not say please or thank you? The best way to answer a question as broad as that would be to simply ask yourself, would I like someone to say please when asking me for something? Would I appreciate someone telling me thank you after I've done something for them? Asking yourself these questions usually returns to the common statement which is known as the golden rule. The golden rule that people know of is to always treat someone the way you would want to be treated. If you would like somebody to say please when asking you for something, then why not start by including the term when asking another individual for a product or service? In my personal opinion, I don't believe that forgetting to say please when asking for something is a lack of common courtesy. How often in the real world do we really use these mannerisms outside of a professional environment? I would say that most folks when speaking to an associate, friend, or even some family members tend to ask for something and without a second thought the word please is completely omitted from their vocabulary. Does this define the character and decency of a person because they lack the mannerisms that society has deemed as proper? I would answer no, because just as the chances are of somebody saying please when asking for something, chances are roughly the same with them in regards to using the term towards you. Though it's not considered a huge thing when making those statements, studies have shown that when you make an effort to perform small things, you are very likely to do much bigger things as well. For instance, you have a 23-year-old man who works in an office building. As he proceeds forward, the man notices a sign that states that all employees must wear a mask due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The gentleman looks around and notices a lady in the front of a building with a box containing masks for the employees to wear. Quickly making his way over towards the young lady, he asks in a polite tone, Excuse me, miss, do you mind if I please get a mask as I just noticed about the company's new mask mandate? Even if it's her job to hand a mask over to any employee that asks for one, because the man said please, it revealed that the man is an individual who cares for his co-workers. Even if the gentleman didn't care about who his co-workers are, what he revealed was that while inside the environment that consisted of all the employees, he respects each worker enough to show decency towards them when asking for a favor. Now let's change the events of the story that had just taken place. Instead of the individual saying please, Let's assume he demanded that he needs a mask. Walking up to the lady in the front, the man states, I need a mask, can I have one? 
As we stated earlier, it's her job to give any fellow employee a mask when one is needed. Unlike before, though, the man simply asks for the mask, and the lady proceeds to give it to him. When he said please, it was assumed that he cared about showing respect and decency to his co-workers, but since the word please was omitted from his sentence, it showed that his co-workers were just everyday people towards him and that he really had no respect for them outside of being co-workers. When an individual uses the word please, it usually allows for them to appear as a nice person along with caring for other people other than themselves. For our next story, we'll discuss the matter of using the term thank you. Why is saying thank you important and considered proper among our society? When we tell another person who has done something for us in a positive course of action thank you, it manifests to see that we appreciate the kind gesture that was completed for us. Giving an appearance that's much more positive within our relationships, the term thank you goes a long way. Usually the folks that respond to an act with thank you are usually the individuals who notice and take into consideration the things that they're grateful for. Not that forgetting or just simply not caring about the word makes you a bad person who doesn't care about anyone or anything other than themselves. The term thank you just shows that you're willing to take into consideration the kind gesture that was provided for you and that you indeed appreciate it. Our next short story involving the use of thank you will be about a child in the candy store. For example, we'll say the little boy is 8 years old and his father agreed to take him anywhere he wanted because he had received excellent grades in school. As the boy walks through the door, he rushes without hesitation over towards the glass jar in which the different kinds of candy reside. Noticing a woman walking in the direction of the father and son, the boy asks the lady, Excuse me, ma'am, may I get a few of these pieces of candy, please? Of course, a lady working in the candy store will not deny the request, and so she'll be happily able to assist the young boy with getting the candy that he desires. As she hands him the jar that will allow him to grab as many pieces that he would like, the boy responds with, Thank you very much. A few things that we can infer from the simple use of the term thank you is for one, the boy is showing he genuinely appreciates the lady assisting him. Another feature within the scenario is that the young boy has been educated and influenced by his father to be respectful towards others when they're performing a task for you. A situation like this can go much further than giving a store clerk a better day from their respect. Outside of the main story, let's say there is a mother with her daughter in the candy store on another aisle than the father and son. Hearing how the son behaved can possibly influence the mother's teachings towards her daughter to give that same form of respect, instead of the standard behavior that usually overshadows basic human decency. What would have happened had the child not been influenced to say thank you? Most individuals would assume that nothing in particular would happen differently. In most cases, the ad assumption would be accurate, except for one thing. Since the little boy had not said thank you, it shows the father is not only neglecting the importance of basic respect, but the child is very likely to not say thank you in other situations. Backtracking to the question asked, why is saying thank you important and considered proper among our society? To summarize the answer accordingly, it teaches the child that respect and human decency goes much further than the people in our families and our friends in whom we associate with to the individuals that we either don't know on a personal level or someone we're requesting a service from. Fortunately, in our society, most parents rather their child show this decency to others over to them in most cases, and therefore the child is usually corrected in an appropriate manner if they end up neglecting the use of this custom. Now as for our second example in regards to the use of the term thank you, we will be using a 51 year old man and a 25 year old girl. This scenario will take place in an attorney's office where our gentleman will be the attorney and a 25 year old woman will be his assistant. In popular instances, when in a place of business as a leader, we tend to be so caught up in work that we often forget to show appreciation towards our fellow employees. Our attorney will instruct his assistant to perform a number of tasks that revolve around correcting documents, printing forms, squaring up the office, and a few other things that would be requested of an assistant to complete. As normal, she would respond to her boss saying, Yes, sir, I'll get it taken care of immediately. 
Unfortunately, many bosses tend to neglect the respect owed to their assistants due to the commonly used term, I show my appreciation by paying you, and in many times, drives the assistant to contemplate of finding new employment elsewhere. What would have happened differently had the attorney told his assistant thank you? In most cases, nothing significantly would have been different, so we ask the question, why do we need to tell our assistants thank you when we are showing them appreciation by paying them? The answer is very simple. Going back towards the golden rule, it says, treat people the way you would want to be treated. If you expect your assistants or employees to tell you thank you, why would you feel that it wouldn't be expected out of you? Say the attorney had replied to his assistant after she said, yes sir, I'll get it taken care of immediately with thank you. There is a high probability that the assistant caught on to being told thank you and that she feels like she is being appreciated for all her hard work that she has done. Usually when a person feels appreciated when performing a task that is asked of them, they often have a better attitude and the work has much higher quality. The amount of work that is required to say both please and thank you isn't much. Honestly, it takes very little to go the extra mile in order to assure someone that you appreciate and respect them. As we live in a world where respect and showing others basic human decency declines, it's very important that we spread as much kindness and compassion towards our fellow human beings as it could result in the domino effect. When you show a person kindness and compassion, they'll be more likely to show another person the same, and then that person will repeat the process. If we can come together and spread positivity, love, kindness, and compassion towards each other, the cruelty of the world will begin to decrease. The term, we live in a cruel world, will cease to exist, and the future generations that are to come will be ignorant to anything that isn't a form of love, compassion, kindness, and respect. I hope you guys enjoyed the first chapter of my book, The Golden Rule. I'm not sure if I'm going to do more videos like this, revealing all the chapters as they are finished, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are viewing this from the Daily Discussion YouTube channel, please give a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in more content like this, hit that subscribe button along with the bell as you will be notified when the next video is released. Feel free to leave a comment on what your thoughts about the importance of saying please and thank you and how you feel about towards the golden rule. Thank you so much for watching this video and giving support and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Hope everybody has a great weekend and I'll see you guys later.